Good morning. How is everybody? All right, so Jeremy was just telling you guys about what lovely holiday do we separate? Celebrate. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> What lovely holiday do we celebrate in February? No, Easter is not in February. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. And so what I wanted to start with this morning is, listen, how do we tell people that we love them? Well, wait, wait, wait. So, first of all, I've got um, a couple of different things right here. We have a little argument going on at our house. As you can imagine, our house gets pretty, um, in a, when we get in a competition at our house, it gets pretty intense. And so, I need for you guys to break the tie on the competition at our house. And it is currently the best Valentine's candy, right? Everybody loves candy at Valentine's, right? So I'm going to show you five different um, Valentine's candies, and you guys, we're going to vote, and we're going to decide on the very best one, okay? So the first one I have is the always fabulous Reese's Pieces, okay? Reese's Pieces. It's like an M&M, but it's filled with yes, filled with peanut butter. Okay, so keep that in mind. We got Reese's Pieces, okay? Then the next one I have is, oh, these are good because they come in packs of two. The Little Debbie Chocolate Brownie. Yeah. Right, right. Everybody loves those, okay? You can keep one and give one away, so that's always good. Okay, then, what? Nothing? Okay, let's see if I got something in here that Tanya might be okay. Okay, how about the yeah. Valentine Starburst? Yeah. It is long lasting, right? It, that, that piece, one little piece of candy lasts for a very long time. So we really like Starburst at our house. So that's another choice. Yes, good point, good point. All right, um, then the, what about just straight up chocolate bars? Anybody? Like Hershey's solid chocolate bars, right? Those, that's our fourth. Okay, so we got those um, just regular solid chocolate bars. And then this is my personal favorite. You cannot celebrate Valentine's Day without conversation hearts. Yes, yes. Not only, not only are they very, very awesome sugary confection genius. It has a little message on there. And it says things like, OMG, let's text. Things like that, right? Now they've changed the messages from when I was young. Okay, so yeah, they've changed the messages. Now it's not, yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't say I'm yours anymore. Now it says things like, LOL. Okay. So, top five. So, if, all right, so to vote, though, we're going to do an oh, yeah, okay? So, if this is your favorite, when I hold it up, you've got to vote by saying, oh, yeah, all right? And the one that's the loudest is going to be four, five, six's favorite Valentine's candy, okay? So, let's start. We'll just go back in the same order. How about Reese's Pieces? Ready? If this is your favorite Valentine's candy, go ahead and vote for Reese's Pieces now. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, okay. Reese is getting some love. <clears throat> what about the Little Debbie Chocolate Hearts? Ready? If this is your favorite, vote now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Gosh, you get to keep one and give one away, and this is not your favorite. Okay. All right. What about the Starburst? If that's your favorite Valentine candy, vote now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Solid chocolate bar. Solid chocolate bar. Go. What? Oh, no, not the Easter Bunny. Okay, so I'm going to put that one back in there. All right. Last but not least, let's give some love for the conversation hearts. Vote now if that's your favorite. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we narrowed it down to two, so let's do a vote off. Ready? If you think Reese's Pieces are the very best Valentine candy, that that's what I give, that you want to give that to your lady friend or your dude friend, okay? Here we go. 
Vote now. Okay. If Starburst is your absolute favorite, you love you some Starburst, vote now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm surprised. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm impressed. Okay, so Starburst it is then. But I'm not going to share with you guys, so you're just out of luck. <laughs> It is, it is what it is at this point. All right, good deal. So this is, y'all showed some serious love for your favorite um, Valentine's candy, and I think that's awesome. I'm, I am excited about that. But it got me thinking when, when Mr. Jeremy and I were debating this this week about our favorite candy, and we were talking about what do we love, it got me thinking about people that we love and how do we show people that we love them. So think about that for just a minute. Don't blurt out anything, but I want you to think for just a minute. How do you show people that you love them? And so I brought a couple of things today to help us with um, some ideas on how we can show people that we love them. And so let's just start out with, um, how about this? Who knows what these are? What are these? They are stickers, but what do they also kind of look like? No, no. Yeah, like little Valentines. How many of you still buy Valentines for your friends? Like the little box of Valentines? So, oh, the, real <laughs> the way that, one way that we can show people that we love them is through our words, right? You can send, maybe send a letter or something like that. But we can certainly show people that we love them through our words. So that's one way I thought about. Um, another way is this right here. What is this? A present, yeah. And so buying presents or giving gifts might be one way that you show somebody that you love them. And that may not necessarily be um, something that you have to buy with your money. It could be something that you made, right? You could make something for somebody and give that. So that's one way that we show people that we love them is, is by that. Okay, here's another one. You ready? What is this? Oh, yeah. So we were just talking about candy, but at Valentine's Day, sometimes giving sweet things or chocolates especially, that's one way that we can show people that we love them. Maybe by cooking. Maybe it's not just chocolate, but maybe it's by cooking a meal or bringing somebody something special that you know that they like. And what is this one? What do you think this one is? Maybe, yeah, good Carson, high five or... Oh, yes, definitely. What about a high five or a hug? Uh Do you show people that you love them by giving them a hug? Maybe. Okay, I love that one. Okay, a hug. What about, this is my favorite right here. This is my favorite. Maybe it's not necessarily cleaning. Maybe it just represents like helping Helping people. Do you think, yeah, like cleaning the house for them. Is that one way that you can show someone that you love them? Maybe. Okay, last one. Here's the last thing I got right here. You ready? This one might take y'all a minute to figure out, but I think you're smart enough to get this one. Oh, okay. So a clock might represent either giving someone of your time by spending time with them or... um, what else? What, what else could you do with your time that could show somebody that you love them? Be early. That's respectful, so maybe. Not yeah, not being late, being on time. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so here's what I need. So we've got several things up here, but and we all talked about different ways that we can show people that we love each other. So I'm going to get one adult and one student to come up here, and we're going to do this separately. But I want you guys to put these in order of significance. What does significant mean? Who knows what that means? Like of importance, right? So we're going to put these in order of importance. So let me get one adult. I don't care. Just get an adult to come on. Come on, Tucker. All right, Tucker, put these in order of significance. How you think you would of most important or most significant to show people that you love them. Sorry, that's my junk.
there is a time limit. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, so basically what Tucker has done is he has put, is this your most important over here? Oh, Lee, so most important, are you a lefty? Oh, okay. Well, so he, Tucker says that time is the most important, the most significant, and then helping others, hugs and high fives, presents, and then words were Tucker's last. Okay, that was his least important. So let me get a student. Aspen, you want to come up? No? Okay, come on. Put these in order that you think is the most significant to the least significant, okay? So most important to least important. Okay, yes, show us most. So you think most is this way? No, we did not. Okay, so this time we think that serving others or helping others is the most significant way that you can show them that you love them. Then time, hugs, presents, and still lastly is words. Well, here's the deal, guys. I could call every single one of you up here and every single person might put these in a different order, right? So that just tells us that there's lots of different ways that we can show each other that we love each other and that there's really no right or wrong answer. But whenever we get into situations like this where we really aren't sure what the answer is, where is the number one foolproof, absolutely 100% correct place that we should go look for the answer? Yeah, to God's Word, to God's Word. So in God's Word, um, <clears throat> we know that God talked from the very beginning, from the very first book in Genesis, all the way to the very end of Revelation, the main theme is what? Does anybody know? Love, yeah. Every single book of the Bible says something about love, something about God's love, something about the way that God loves us and how we're to love others. And so there is one story in particular, one person in particular, um, a guy named John. And John was very, very close friends with Jesus. He was in his very tight inner circle. He was one of the 12 disciples. And they were very, very close friends. And in the book that John wrote, he tells a story um, about this, a very special meal that Jesus had um, right before he went to the cross. And what do we know Jesus did at the cross? He died for us. He died for me. He died for you. And so right before this happened, Jesus went to this very special meal and it was called the Passover feast. And at the Passover feast, Jesus is talking with his disciples and he's sharing with them and he says something very, very important. And he, he shares with the disciples what's gonna happen and he tells them basically, he outlines how to love one another. And this is what is said in the book of John. Okay, this is spoken by Jesus, okay, but John wrote it down for us and this is what it says. Here is my command, love each other just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than the one who gives his life for his friends. So the first part of that verse that stuck out to me was, if you'll go back one, Mr. Tate, it said, here is my command. Ooh, that's a strong word, command. Anybody know what that means? Or another word that's, that means kind of the same thing as command? Is he saying like, this is my suggestion? This is my wish for you. I hope that you can do this. No, a command is given from a person in authority and they expect you to follow that, right? It's not a suggestion. It's not a wish. It's not a hope. It's, it is given. So Jesus is saying, this is my command. I'm giving you no other choice. I'm telling you that right now, I'm commanding you to love each other just as I've loved you. Well, that sounds great, but how did Jesus love us? And so Jesus goes on to say this right here. Nobody has a greater love for somebody than if you're willing to die for that person. And, and we know that Jesus is gonna go on to do what? To die for us. And so that's what he's saying. I'm commanding you to love one another just as I've loved you. And there's no way to love somebody better than to die for them because that's what I'm about to do for you. 
So God makes it very clear, and Jesus, Jesus lays it out there very plain for us to see how we're supposed to love one another. It's not an option. Are there people in our lives that are kind of unlovable? Let's be honest. We can be honest. Yeah, there are. There are people in our lives that are not lovable. There are people that are mean to us. There are people that make fun of us. There are people that don't agree with what we agree with, and, and we might argue and fuss and fight, but what does God say? Love one another. Does he say just to love those that are kind to you? Does he say just to love those that look like you and act like you and believe like you? Just to love those people that live next door to you and go to the same church that you go to? No, it doesn't. And so that led us to think about some different ways that we can show our own people that we love them. Because saying it is, it's, that's important. It is important to say things, but I could tell you a lot of things, right? I could tell you that the moon is made out of cheese. Do you believe me? No, probably not. I could tell you that I won Miss America 15 years ago. Do you believe me? (laughs) No, no. But if I show you my crown, would you believe me? Okay, so how can we show people that we love them? I mean... I definitely think that you could show your mom or your dad or somebody in your house that you love them by acts of service, right? Like, yeah, make your bed, put the dishes out, of, take the dishes out of the dishwasher and put them up, um, cook them breakfast. And you know what? Do all this without being asked. That certainly shows your mom or dad or whoever that you're with that you love them. That definitely shows love, Right. What about, um, what about with your words? How could you show someone with your words? I definitely think, um, what if you wrote a note to that mean, mean math teacher that you have on test day, and you just wrote a little note to them, and you said, gosh, Miss Pullen, your class is terrible, but I really think you're a neat person. That might make your teacher's day. That's one way, though, that you could show love. Just leave a little sticky note somewhere. Maybe, maybe not for your teacher. Maybe, maybe for that person in your class that's not real nice. Maybe you just leave a little note on their desk and say, hey, I think you're neat. Or good luck today. Or smile because you have great teeth. I don't know, but just something very little. It doesn't have to be anything big. What about, um, what about gifts? How can we show people, I bet some of you may spend all your money as soon as you get it, right? I got a kid in my family like that. As soon as they get money, she is going to find a way to spend it. (laughs) So she doesn't really have any money to buy us gifts. But, you know, I got to thinking, it doesn't have to be something that you buy with your money. It can be something that you make. Or what if the next time you have a soccer game and it's your turn to bring drinks for the team and you ask your mom, hey, mom, can we bring drinks for the other team too? That's something very small, but it shows what? It shows love. Yeah, and that's showing love to the other team, which is the enemy, right? Could be full of your friends, but that's a great way to show love to other people. I agree. Um, What about this one right here? We talked about hugs and high fives. What could that look like? What? A high four, whatever. How How can you use that to show love? Do you have to walk up to that strange kid at school and say, I love you, come, come on, let, let's hug it out. Yeah. No, that's right, pat him on the back. What about holding the door? What about holding the door for someone as they're coming in? That's kindness and kindness is love, right? What about um, when that kid drops their tray in the middle of the cafeteria? Or they're walking by you and their backpack is half unzipped and all their stuff falls out into the middle of the floor? What about, could you just stop and help instead of walk by? That shows love, right? Guys, it's not, it doesn't have to be awkward. It's just the little things. Um, What about this one right here? I love this one. Because this one you can't buy with money. And once it's gone, it's gone forever. How can you use your time to show somebody that you love them? What are some examples of that? What could we do? What does that look like? 
What if, what if you put down your phone or your video game for a minute and you went and played your little brother or your little sister's favorite game with them? Is that spending time with them? Yeah. But you know, it's, it is spending time, but something just as important is being in the right attitude. Because putting your phone down and then just going and sitting on the couch with the family and not speaking and just being like, I cannot stand watching Family Feud. Is that real? Does that really count for love? No, it's all about what's in your heart, right? So what I want you to do this week and for the whole month of February and really for from now on, because God commanded it. He didn't suggest it. He didn't recommend it. He commanded that we love one another. I challenge you, pick one of these ways. Pick one small thing, one small gesture that you can do to show someone that you love them. And by doing so, you might be surprised at how they respond, right? And also, maybe you should take a minute to see if you see these things that are given to you. Are your parents giving you time? Are your friends giving you high fives? Do you have a friend that writes things that are kind to you? Okay? All right, so I'm gonna close this out in prayer, and then we're gonna have our time of worship after that. Um, But everybody just close your eyes and bow your heads for just a minute. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I just thank you so much, God, that your word is all about love and kindness. And God, I just pray that these students will know that they are loved and that that we care about them as adults and their leaders here in four, five, six, but also, God, how much you love them and how much you care about them and how you want to spend time with them. God, I just pray that throughout this month and and in the coming months, Lord, that they'll understand just how much you love them and that you showed that to them through your death on the cross and that we can now forever spend time with you. We just ask all these names in your precious, all these things in your precious name. Amen.